Sortilège from Paris, France was formed in late 1980 by schoolmates and guitarists Stéphane Dumont and Didier Desmajan. They'd bring on Stéphane's brother and drummer, Jean-Philippe Dumont, aka Bob Snake, and bassist Daniel Lapp, before changing their name from Blood Wave to Sortilège, or Spell in English. They'd add vocalist Christian Zoui Augustin and start recording demos. A 1982 cassette tape demo would feature the eponymous track Sortilege, which actually got a rudimentary black and white video. The demo sounds about as rough as the video looks, but the musicianship and the vocals are clearly excellent. Plus, I just love that they're playing in a subway car. The demo and successful live shows would help Sortilege get a spot opening for Def Leppard in Paris in 1983. That same year, they'd release a self-titled EP with a lot better production than the demo. The EP is already freaking awesome, with a strong new wave of British heavy metal influence. It's got the straightforward rock attitude of Judas Priest mixed with the compositional complexity of Iron Maiden and a vocalist that holds up to both. The popularity of the EP quickly got Sortilege a deal for a full-length album, and in 1984, they'd release Metamorphose. Metamorphos is again a perfect blend of heavy and melodic with powerful vocals and guitars. Speaking of those guitars, have I mentioned that the solos are awesome? But while Sortilege does have a more compositional feel to their music, the tracks on Metamorphos are all under five and a half minutes, with three clocking in at two and a half or less. Definitely not a negative, but interesting considering the epicness of some of the songs. While Metamorphose was a hit in France and Germany, the band felt that their French lyrics could hurt international sales, so they recorded an English version of the album too. Unfortunately, that version only sold well in Japan. Bah, c'est euh, tout à fait ce qu'on disait tout à l'heure, c'est-à-dire que les maisons de disques ont tellement peur de ce groupe français qu'on oublie de s'expatrier à l'étranger pour pouvoir réimporter les disques en France. 
C'est un peu malheureux, mais c'est comme ça. Alors après, on dira que on est français, mais on va enregistrer à l'étranger, euh, etc. Non, euh, c'est pas notre faute, en fait. C'est la faute des maisons de disques françaises, uniquement. Ouais, c'était compliqué, bon, parce que il euh, y a la maison mère qui se trouve en Allemagne. Euh, on a eu la distribution en France euh, par une maison de disques que je ne citerai pas parce qu'elle fait mal son boulot. Si, tu peux la citer, justement, cite-la. Non, c'est Madrigal qui fait pas du tout son boulot et qui distribue très mal les disques en France, quoi. They'd try again in 1986 with their second album, Heroes Tears. For some reason, this time the English and French versions each have a different track order, but they're essentially the same album. Again, it's a super solid album with outstanding guitar work and amazing vocals. It is a bit poppier than the first album, but still heavy and rocks just as hard. Also, the tracks on average are a bit longer on this one with two closing in on seven minutes. After Hero's Tears, Sortilege would break up due to a lack of label support. Then, in 2019, everyone but Stefan would reunite for the Keep It True Festival in Germany. Not long after this, however, there would apparently be some internal issues that would split the band up again. I couldn't find a lot of details, but it seems like Zooey and Daniel Lapp went one way, and Didier, Stefan, and Bob Snake went the other. In early 2020, Zooey announced a new lineup of Sortilege, including Olivier Spitzer on guitar, Bruno Ramos on guitar, and Clement Roxel on drums. Daniel Lapp would leave by this point, apparently on good terms, and be replaced by bassist Sebastian Bonet. While it's unfortunate that the other original members aren't involved, this version of Sortilege is actually putting out new material, with an album containing updated versions of old Sortilege songs, plus two new tracks due out at the end of this month, August 2021. And I gotta say, what they've released so far sounds pretty cool. So keep an eye out for that new album. But until then, be sure to check out the self-titled EP from 1983, Metamorphose from 1984 and Heroes Tears from 1986. The English versions are great too, but I personally prefer the French vocals. They just feel a little more natural, obviously. Also, be sure to check out my friends Michael and Anna Maria over at Metal Academics who put together some pretty cool metal band battles. For this week, I talked them into putting Sortilege up against another legendary French metal band, Blaspheme. I'll leave the link in the video description, so be sure to head over to the Metal Academics channel to vote for your favorite. Also, let me know what you think of Sortilege in the comments. Personally, I think their 80s albums are awesome, and I can't wait to hear some new material. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.